Picture this, an unwaveringly principled philosopher, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, caught in a captivating clash of ideologies with the conservative statesman, Edmund Burke. Rousseau, considered a key figure in the Enlightenment movement, exuded a profound belief in the innate goodness of man and the need for a social contract to preserve freedom and equality. Burke, on the other hand, championed tradition, order, and the gradual evolution of society. Their clash sparks a debate that challenges our understanding of human nature and the best way to govern society. Rousseau, ever the dreamer, firmly believed that humanity was born free, but society placed chains upon them, stifling their natural instincts and corrupting their moral compass. He believed that men should band together under a social contract, willingly sacrificing some liberties to protect the common good. According to Rousseau, governments should be fully accountable to their citizens, promoting a direct democracy where personal freedoms flourish and inequalities are minimized. On the other hand, Burke, a staunch conservative, held deep reservations about Rousseau's radical notions. Burke believed that society thrived when built upon the wisdom of past traditions, institutions, and authorities. To him, social change should be gradual, respecting the organic development of society. Deviating from tradition, to Burke, risked unraveling the delicate fabric that holds a civilization together. These philosophical giants diverged considerably in their views on the role of government. Rousseau championed a more egalitarian form of governance, where power was distributed evenly among citizens to prevent the corruption of a ruling elite. Burke, however, asserted that a strong, aristocratic governing body was crucial for ensuring stability, safeguarding morality, and preserving the social order. While the clash between Rousseau and Burke may have seemed irreconcilable, their fierce debates ignited a profound dialogue on the nature of man and the proper way to govern society. Across Europe, their ideas permeated through academic circles and ignited passionate discussions among intellectuals and common folk alike. Rousseau, depicted as a solitary figure wandering through nature with his dog, contemplated the complexities of societal constructs that suppress individual freedom. His unwavering belief in the inherent goodness of humanity shone brightly as he passionately argued for an egalitarian society. Burke, in contrast, was often found in the halls of parliament, passionately defending the merits of tradition and the importance of maintaining the status quo. Dressed impeccably in his iconic powdered wig, he staunchly defended the virtues of hierarchy, emphasizing the importance of social stability above all else. As time went on, their ideas continued to shape the world. Rousseau's emphasis on individual freedom and the rights of man laid the groundwork for many democratic movements, while Burke's conservative principles influenced the development of conservatism and the importance of gradual change in society. In the end, whether you find yourself aligning with Rousseau's unwavering belief in the inherent goodness of mankind, or Burke's veneration for tradition and stability, their monumental clash of ideas forces us to question our own understanding of human nature and the fundamental ways in which societies should be governed. So, dear reader, are you ready to dive into the captivating clash of Rousseau and Burke, where ideological ferocity meets the essence of human existence?